Diego, what is the story with uh, the disease in the area? What is that all about? Um, the disease is uh, sudden oak death. It's um, something you know that's been in San Mateo County for a decade at least. Um, in fact, San Mateo County is quarantined and you're not allowed to take any uh, diseased um, tree in or out of San Mateo County. Um, Phytophthora remorum is the disease um, that will kill a, kill an oak tree in just a matter of a month, a mature oak tree in a matter of a month. These, uh, these trees haven't been managed or tended for a really long time. Um, and the traditional method of tending these trees is um, fire, using uh, fire as a management tool. Um, and the indigenous uh, natives here in the peninsula had a really great way of tending the trees using uh, fire. So there has been a reduction in fire and an overall um, accumulation of organic matter and a corresponding acidification of soils. Soils have gotten a high fungal rate and these trees like really alkaline soils. Um, so the issue is bringing in fire mimicry techniques um, and some of these uh, techniques have been pioneered by a, a scientist, independent scientist, Dr. Lee Klinger. You can try him at suddenoaklife.org. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to try and restore some of these oaks, the ones that we want to keep on site, thin them, um, and remineralize soils, um, maybe spray some lime washes on the trunks, um, do some mulching, some compost and compost teas. Um, but they, they, are, they are beautiful specimens and um, they do need tending. So hopefully with a little bit of our help, we can actually restore the oaks and then cultivate some land and build soil as we go. And tell me what the boundary lines are here. Can you point them out? Sure, so we've got a back fence and I, I don't know the measurements yet. We haven't gotten there, but there's a fence line here at the bottom of the property that is adjacent to a fire road, which is owned by the city of Hillsborough. And then there's another property line over here on this side next to the terraces that um, <laughs> that uh, that's you know separating the two properties this one and the adjacent one and then there's another one behind you Willie and it's going all the way down here the hillside and it goes all the way up to the street and that's Sky Farm Drive. Gotcha. And the, the land beyond the fence is Crocker Canyon. That's that's, San, that's Sanchez Creek watershed. Okay, that's and just uh, managed by the Hillsboro. No, no management. <laughs> okay, nobody's taking care of it. Um, there might be some work that's done every 15, 20 years, maybe 25 years, um, but I think it's uh, about time that somebody or a group of people go in and start to work. Do you think the watershed is um, a piece of land that the, a guild, a permaculture guild could address? If Absolutely. they had enough members? Absolutely, you know, Sort yeah. of a chunk of land that they could manage? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a great opportunity to have local property owners and the community as a whole come in to increase water quality um, and filter out effluent from properties um, in particular, the uh, the Burlingame Country Club, and I don't know if you're aware, but most uh, golf courses like their chemicals, uh, <laughs> yeah. so we have to deal with that too. Huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks.